Hey everyone, welcome to the Daily Five Show by the Dapplist. Yeah, we started this series to explain how to use the projects that are launched through Biddle Launchpad. Yeah, so let's get started. We have a Clee from Carve team. She will guide us how to use Carve. Yeah, so hey Clee, I am handing over to you. Hi everyone, this is Chloe. Let me walk you through Carve, a user-owned gaming identity. Here on this homepage, users will be able to learn about the three core values as gaming achievement dashboard, directly monetized from their own data, and enhance gaming social experience delivered to them with these specific features from Carve. And lower on this page, our honored partners that were formed in the past couple of months are listed here. And now let's get connected to the wallet and get started on this journey. Fast forwarding, after I connected the wallet and added a couple of addresses from multiple chains, I achieved my very comprehensive gaming identity. Yep, on the top left you can see I am Carve Whale. Now on the top right corner, click Wallet dropdown. You can see all the wallet addresses binded to my identity. You can simply add or get rid of any at your will. Here you can see the CARF score, which is a dynamic rarity-based score. The goal here is to have a score that's fairly reflecting how rare a player is in the gaming metaverse, so the players can compare with each other. Below that, you can see some high-level metrics on the Web3 games that you're playing or played before. And if we click here, uh, or more stats, we'll be able to be directed to another page. Here, you will be able to see your current NFT holdings in Worthy of USD, bought price and sold price by different games. On the right-hand side, you will be able to see how many NFTs or NFT counts you're currently owning or ever owned. Scrolling down, the in-game NFT assets from different games are displayed here. And if you keep going down, you will be able to see the transaction details, including token transactions or NFT transactions. Meanwhile, you can also filter this information by games from the sidebar. We're proactively working with our community to add more stats to this page. And if we backward to the profile page, you all see the showcase here, showing four badges. Currently, it's displayed as the user's most recent or rare gaming achievements, but later, users get to choose their favorite badges to display. The showcase is where you collect and show off your top gaming moments. If you hover over, you will be able to see a story behind this badge, how you are qualified for it. The next section is not not, pretty much the badge overviews by games. Here you can see the top three games that users just played recently and qualified for carving new badges. The badges that you see here are the meta design for our alpha testing. The final design of the in-game badges will be based on our collaboration as well as the consensus with the games. And if we click more here, you will be able to see all the badges that you carved already or qualified for carving. We're still working on the grouping and sorting feature to make it more clear and convenient for the players to dig back to one's memory and review that gaming story again. Now let's discover more. Here we see the achievements across all games that I'm qualified for as 46 achievements are unlocked and new badges to be carved since I made new progress in the games. Users will be able to filter by certain game on the sidebar. Let's take Cyball as an example. Here, I unlocked this badge called Treasure Hunter as I transferred my in-game NFTs for more than three times. Hmm, interesting. So let's click here and carve this one. I'm asked to choose a wallet to hold this badge. Let's pick a random one. And so the mint started. This shouldn't take any time more than a minute. After the badge is carved, it will be displayed in your showcase, which I just showed you. Now we see the carving badge just refreshed its status to be already carved. Scrolling down, the badges with carve simply means that user hasn't unlocked that badge yet. So far, I just showed you what info a user or a player would see from its personal dashboard and how to accumulate their top gaming moments as credentials and comprehensive gaming identity as they keep playing games. Now I'll take you to our first initiative to enhance social experience for them. So we go to leaderboard. 
Here, you can see your rank and who the top 100 users are. The leaderboard are made for global rankings or by per game. There will also be all-time leaderboard and seasonal, so everyone gets a chance to bid onto a leaderboard and unlock rare achievements. So, let me try to browse the leaderboard and see what badges and scores other users have, and try to follow one. And let me get to see more info about this guy, what achievements he or she has made, and what most recent games it has played. Amazing! Going back to the leaderboard, I'll filter by a game. Let's take Cyball as an example again. You can tell I love Cyball. You can see the ranks here, and the players on the list are much different from all or the global ones. The per game rank here is based on such user's per game carve score, which is the total value of all qualified badges rarity score. And the global rank is based on weighted average of all games per game carve score, taking dynamic active users and revenue or volume as factors. Upon our conversation with partner games, leaderboard and growth path based in game badge system help them to retain games existing users. Last but not least, we go to event page where games post campaigns and direct incentives to acquire new users with specific credentials. You can see the ongoing events here. And on the banner spot, we see Commonverse, which is a uprising game, launching its commemoration badge with Carve. So clicking on it. We see the two requirements a user need to meet to be eligible to claim the badge and the benefits that the badge is gaining. I've already done my work and carved the badge. I'll be able to participate in the benefits, which is their most recent INO with early access and discounted price before the public sale. So we go to the marketplace. Carve Marketplace is integrated and rebranded from Warriors, which was a credential gated INO and scholarship platform launched since last Christmas. If we go to INO, we can see the INO ongoing and the ones ended before with other partner games. Click detail here. I am arriving at the credential gated Commerce INO page and ready for the purchase. I hope this product demo gets you some initial idea on what we're building. We're still researching and working on some core features to be launched later this year. I'm inviting you to carve your Cypher Cohort 1 Demo Day Commemoration Badge on alpha.carve.xyz to get this special day recorded on the blockchain. Thank you. Thank you so much, Glee. This is very insightful session on Carve. I hope everyone will understand how to use Carve. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching us.